Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're not gonna catch mice and rats. Instead, we're gonna trap a very destructive bird that's not native to the US. It's called a house sparrow. It's from Europe and Asia, and it's one of the most widely distributed bird species in the world. It's strongly associated with human activity, and it has amazing ability to adapt to different environments. Now I love birds. I love watching birds, setting up bird feeders and bird houses, but there are a few birds that are a real problem. In my state, all birds are protected one way or another, except for four. Pigeons, Eurasian collar doves, starlings, and the house sparrow. There's no laws protecting them. House sparrows are especially destructive to native species that rely on cavities for nesting. In my area, this includes bluebirds and swallows who oftentimes raise their chicks in birdhouses. But the more aggressive house sparrows will come along and steal these critical nesting sites. Another major problem with house sparrows is they're so comfortable around human activity, they'll get in buildings, warehouses, and stores. They'll poop on customers and food. It's not sanitary. Well, there are a couple options for dealing with this bird, and in this video, we're gonna try to catch them. Here's our trap. It's a simple design, and it's made by Bird Barrier. It's called the Sparrow Trapdoor Humane Sparrow Relocation System. It looks like it's made from wood, but actually it's made from a material called polystyrene. It consists of a lower box, which is a holding chamber, and an upper trapdoor with a two-piece baffle system. The way you set it is you lift up the trapdoor. It's spring-loaded. That wants to come down, but you pull it up. And there's a wire down below that holds it in place, right there. You place that through a hole in the floor and set the wire catch. Now you can adjust the sensitivity. This is not sensitive, and as you move it towards the edge, that is very sensitive. As soon as the bird touches the wire, it will go off. Now with this trap, you can catch birds with just bait. But to be more effective, I also got the electronic sparrow call. This has 10 different settings for different situations. It runs on three AA batteries. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And it starts with a continuous call for sparrows to come on in. We place that right at the trap. So let's go set up the motion cameras with our trap, see if the feed and the call bring them in, see if they step on the wire and get caught. Well, inside we have a very unhappy house sparrow that heard the call, came to the bait, tripped the trigger, and got caught. So overall, the bird barrier sparrow trap worked extremely well. Now, if you're just trying to remove birds from a building or warehouse, you can take this outside, lift the lid, and let them go. But because we caught a non-native invasive species, I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. Now, if you just try to reach in there and grab it, chances are extremely high it will fly away. What you want to do instead is turn the trap sideways, place a bag on it, and open up the bottom. There it is. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a bird snack.
While the raccoon enjoyed the house sparrow we caught with the bird barrier trap, overall it's a good option. It's simple to set. It works well, especially with that call. And if you don't want to set it on the ground, you can easily hang it from a rafter. It comes with a hanger or raise it up on a high place. There's a mount right here. You put a pole, lift it up, and you can see easily when you catch a bird. But thank you so much for watching my videos. I enjoy trying new things. And thank you to all the viewers who are sending me fan art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and birds, stay tuned.